Welcome back to my channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a lot of things that I need to catch up on. I feel like Thanksgiving and moving, and it's like chaos. It has been chaos. I'm trying to regroup, recenter a little bit. So if you have things to do around your house, come join me. I've got to change the sheets. I got to do another couple loads of laundry, clean the kitchen, all sorts of stuff. So let's get to it. So first, I actually need to change the sheets. Haven't done that in about a week. It's time. Also, while I'm in here, the curtain rods have arrived for the windows. We've had zero curtains in here, in the bedroom. It's fine. So I have this lamp that is going to be hung from the ceiling in between these two windows. And so the curtain rods, I I got two of them and they're a little bit wider than the, and, than the window. And so I think I'm going to put them up towards like where the ceiling and the wall meet. So that means these are nine foot ceilings. I think it's like 108 inches for curtains. And I haven't bought those yet, but I was thinking from a color standpoint, probably this like grayish kind of color, either that or maybe this, I mean, a little lighter of a dusty rose color from the rug here. I don't know. I do have, I don't know if they'll work. I've got some chairs that the previous owner left um, for the patio that I can paint white and put here in front of these windows that I think will look good too. So we will have some chairs here as well in front of the windows and the curtains and all that. But what do you think? Do you think this grayish color or maybe the rose? Vote in the comments, let me know. This is my favorite laundry soap on the planet literally ever. I have been using this exclusively for the last, I don't know, five years, something like that. It has zero fragrance. The only fragrance or smell to it is lemon essential oil. There's Steve's essential oil in here too. It literally just makes your clothes smell like clothes. And so then people can smell you or whatever essential oils you use or whatever. It doesn't have any of those harmful chemicals, SLS, dyes, formaldehyde, those kinds of things, brightening agents. I love this stuff. I'll link it below. If you do not have it, I recommend it to all the people because laundry soap is generally super duper toxic. So anything you can do to reduce your toxic load, and that's an easy swap like this, highly recommended. And I just heard that the Tide Pods that people were eating, which is just bizarre to me, but anyway, the plastic casing that the Tide Pod detergent is in that melts into your clothes. And so like if you sweat or whatever, that plastic can get in your body. No good. Totally disgusting. So UPS is here and it's either a TV, a rug, or a Christmas tree that they are delivering. I'm not sure which, but we'll find out. I'm going to let, let that happen here. Then, then we'll find out. show you where the Christmas tree is going to go. It's actually going to go in this front room here, right at that window. So, which also this needs curtains and curtain rod. It's fine. So it's going to go here. The unfortunate thing though about this Christmas tree. So I got it from Michael's really good deal. It was 50% off. Um, and then I had the Rakuten, which gave me cash back also, which is Two thumbs up. If you don't have Rakuten, I'll put it in the description bar below. You get cash back on everything you're buying online anyway. So anyway, I got cash back on that 50% off for the Black Friday special. I ordered a Christmas tree collar to go around the base of it and Michael's just decided to cancel it. So I need some kind of something to put around the bottom here. I don't know. I'll find a collar from somewhere else, but uh, it looks like should be pretty uh, pretty easy to put together, we'll see. And as I was outside, I noticed these windows need to be cleaned. So while I'm standing here, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Thieves laundry soap is all I use to clean my clothes and Thieves household cleaner is all I use to clean everything else, including the windows. literally does so good and it's so cheap it's like a dollar a bottle when you dilute it so if you don't have the it's cleaner 
this is another one that I highly recommend. I'm gonna take you out to look at the chairs that I was talking about. So we're actually selling these bar stools today, which is great. So this is the porch and the previous owner, when we looked at the house, had it set up with just this, this is like a love seat, single seat, single seat, and a pretty good sized table. And then that lounger there. And then he also gave us these four seats and side table. And yes, they are meant to be outdoor seating. That's what they're for. They are like a wood. I think they're actually wood, but my thought process is that I could clean them up, paint them white. I got heirloom traditions all in one paint and I have a quart of that. So I was thinking of painting two of these white, um, probably all of them actually, for the bedroom, two of them in the bedroom, and then put this side table next to them in the bedroom also. And Ikea and other places sell cushions that don't look like outdoor cushions. They look more poofy, like those, like actual cushions. So I'm gonna measure and see if I can get cushions for them too. But I figure since I have all of this seating and it doesn't all fit here on the porch, why not? use some of these because we have them and I can probably make them look pretty okay. They do need cleaned up a little bit at the bottoms and of course, you know, cobwebs and what have you, but you know, after they're brushed off and painted and all of that, I think they would look totally different, especially when they had nicer puffy like pillow cushions on them. So anyway, project for another day, but you know, just something that I'm trying to like upcycle a little bit if I can. And the other thing too, is if you follow my Instagram, you saw us pick up this table and chairs. The table was local from a lady not too far from here. And then the chairs were from Amish country. And I've seen it to where people leave their table as they are and then paint these chairs a white color. And since we have white on the walls, I figure maybe that'll look nice too. So again, that's why I bought the Heirloom Traditions paint to try that out because it's an all-in-one paint. You don't have to sand it or prime it or whatever. You just gotta wash the furniture really well. And then you put a few coats on and bingo, bango, that's it. So thinking about that for these dining chairs as well as those chairs out there. I bought the curtain rods from Ikea. So of course they come in like 50 boxes and all the things. So I'm gonna go in the bedroom and I'm going to measure for where I want the curtain rod placement because all of the windows are literally identical to these here. They're all the same height off the floor and you know, all of that. So I'm going to measure that, get that at least for the bedroom set. And then I want to order the curtains for the bedroom today because I want to get that done. And then I'll eventually get in here and get them, you know, color picked out and all of that kind of stuff too. But I want to get that measured so that's done and off the plate so I can just double check that 108 inches is what I think it is, um, is going to be good for the curtains. So I'm going to go do that. hundred and eight inches from ceiling to floor. So that's the size curtain I'm going to go ahead and get. So in between though, the windows, there's eight and a half inches here. So what I'm thinking is I will probably do, I'm trying to keep it round numbers just for ease of measuring. And so I was thinking extending the curtain rods out to four inches to all the way to the end cap on both of them, and then that'll give me a half inch in between them. I'm thinking maybe, probably be enough, I would guess, I don't know. Cause that would put the curtains then probably about three inches outside the window or so, um, roughly, which seems to be probably an okay amount. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna end up doubling up the curtains or anything. I think I'm probably just gonna do two panels on each window, at least to start with and uh, go from there. So anyway, that's what that's what we got. That's what I'm thinking it's gonna be the case. Hanging them at the ceiling, as close to the ceiling as I can get them really. And then about four inches outside the window. Plan, sold. On to the next thing. While I'm in here, 
I want to mention this. So we bought a new mattress. It is from a company called Sleep on Latex. Sleep on Latex was the lowest priced organic mattress company I could find. I checked Avocado. I checked Tuft & Needle. I checked all of them. And this was the most economical. So I got the, this is the uh, medium mattress. And then I got a two inch mattress topper. And so it's all organic cotton, organic latex and organic wool. And that's it. And it is like literally sleeping on a cloud. My husband and I both absolutely love this mattress. So they're amazing. I'll put their, um, link in the description again, no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just think they are absolutely awesome. Speaking of organic, I made these pillows. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of them too. I'll go ahead and link below what I got. So it looks like a down pillow, right? Like just by squeezing it and whatever. This is actually, I don't know how you say it, Kapok fill, Kapok. It's K-A-P-O-K, -K, I think. I'll put it in the description. So I got that fill. It's a down alternative, but it's like cotton. It's just plant-based. I got a five pound bag of this and I was able to make two king size pillows. These are organic cotton covers from an, a company called Aller Ease. I'll put that in the description also. I was able to make two organic king size pillows for less than half of the price of buying one organic pillow. It was messy, my friends. The fill just is super fibrous and just went everywhere. You need to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area when you're doing this, but I would totally do it again because this is such a comfortable pillow. It literally feels like down without being down. It refluffs and all of that, and it is organic. We spend so much time on our bed, right? And it's all the, those high touch items that are really important to be organic, like our laundry soap, right? We're washing our sheets. Our clothes are on our bodies all day. We're drying off with towels and all of that that has seen the laundry soap. So the laundry soap, the household cleaner, mattress, and you know sheets and all of those things, super important to be as clean as you can, really, as organic as possible because of how high touch they are. So I'll put the supplies for these pillows and I will also link the Sleep On Latex link in the description bar below as well because these 10 out of 10 recommend. And then this is an organic cotton duvet cover that we also got and we have organic linen sheets that we also sleep on. So I will, I'll link all of that below. Okay, laundry is still going. I got five minutes left on that. I need to make some homemade gummies. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I have a short on how to do it, but I've kind of tweaked the recipe and the method a little bit. So let's do that. This is super easy. It takes me very little time to do this. So I take two lemons, two limes, and two oranges. I juice them into a pan and then I add about two or so scoops of gelatin. This is my favorite, Perfect Supplements. I will link it below, I love it. And I let that bloom for just, I don't know, a minute or so. Whisk it in over medium low heat until it is hot and steaming, a little bit boily, pour it into a Pyrex and let it chill in the fridge for about two hours. And that's it. And they're super nourishing for the gut. An incredible, delicious snack that my husband and I love to have. And they're super easy to make. So let's do it. And laundry just finished. So. I'm going to use purification on my wool dryer balls. I just get these from Amazon. Lots of places have them, Etsy has them. And I'm just gonna do about one or two drops on each of these, toss them in with my sheets, and go on to other things. Sheets are done, so I'm gonna get that on the bed. 
that's going to be it for me today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you haven't already and you'd like to hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a new video. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.